What is good guys, we're bringing another YouTube video. Yes, I'm on a roll. That's like three videos in the last couple weeks. So we on one, plus the shorts. Yes, we on one, not really. Okay, we gotta go harder. Okay, today we're bringing a video talking about how I structure my back days or how you should structure your back days is more on how I structure my back days off the experience of I had, I've had trying different styles or pretty much I structure my back days all around the core movements. I don't like to do a bunch of cables and stuff like that. Um, and the reason behind that is because I want to be as strong as possible and obviously the cables and machines that are not going to translate into my strength into the compound movements all our training is based around compound movements we want to be bigger faster stronger we train like athletes so I want to perform like an athlete um, I actually ran a term in the gym for about six months where I did mostly machine work a little bit of compounds here and there and I got weak as hell and it, it's terrible but nonetheless let's talk about how I structure my back workouts. So I always start off with a good warm up, and my warm up is going to be pull ups. I love pull ups, they're the foundation of your training. If you cannot do body weight exercises, just whenever, like you need to start doing those every single day, like literally every day. Uh, pull up wise, we always do a crap ton of pull ups out the gate, no matter what. Sometimes it's 10 sets of 10, 8 sets of 10, 5 sets of 10. We're just getting a lot of volume within pull ups, and we don't do three sets. It's always at least around 50 reps. On this video you're seeing alone, we did weighted pull-ups like five sets of five, and then we went eight sets of eight to pull-ups. So that's how key your pull-ups are. If you can't do pull-ups, you're doing it wrong. You need to take a couple steps back and focus on the pull-ups. When I first started training, all I did was pull-ups. Uh, for a majority of the workout, 50% of the workout was just pull-ups. I would just sit there and specialize on them. I would go onto like basically what what is it uh, assisted pull up machine and I would literally do sets of 20, uh, four sets of 20. I'd knock out like 100 reps and that really helped me develop my strength towards pull ups. So now they're a lot better. Um, I would literally go and just rep them and rep them and rep them and rep them after I get done with regular pull ups and then I'll go lat pull down and do a crap ton more lat pull downs to kind of simulate pull up so pull ups are key you want to get that back bigger you want to get it stronger set up that foundation for later on you definitely want to hit pull ups the next thing is barbell rows you got to do heavy barbell rows it's okay i promise you you can have a little bit of bad form here and there you can get a little jerking like you want to push some weight on barbell rows barbell rows you have two options you go underhand overhand and there's different techniques you can do on it too you can have your chest up a little bit more more of like a gliding motion squeezing that back um or like how I like to do it, I like to drop my chest down a little bit and get a little bit deeper squeeze. I don't like that rowing thing. It looks stupid to me. Um, if you like it, do what you do. Personally, I don't like it. I like that full range of motion, squeezing that upper back and getting that rice nice, nice and tight. Also, bar row rows, which is good, is you can drop the weight like how we did in this video. I went down to 25s and we did like a set of 15 to 20 and we just focused on squeezing the crap out of it. So you get both, um, side to the spectrum, you can go really heavy and then go really concentrated. What we also tried, and not in this video, but I'll talk about in another video, is we went really heavy, jerked it up, and then did eccentric, like three count down, really trying to hold it and squeeze it as much as we can on the way down. And that actually burnt, that burnt up our back, made us sore. There's a whole bunch of variations, focus on barbell rows, I promise you. Next thing is we're gonna talk about is the isolation. So we always have to isolate something with the back. Um, you have to hit some type of isolation work. Obviously, we, I don't build the whole workout around that, but we do like to get some ISO work. Um, since we don't have our cable set up or anything like right now, uh, or we don't, and we don't have a cable set up and we don't have machines here, um, I love, we just do single arm rows for our isolation pretty much right now, or some single arm cable rows. That's pretty much what we're doing. Love it. A million different techniques you can do out there. Um, I kind of keep it in between. You can see the video, a lot of people like to roll to their hip, some people roll up higher. I go right in the middle range where I can really feel my lat extending out and I uh, really feel it engaged. And that's the biggest thing, keeping your lats engaged, learning how to engage your lats and make sure you squeeze through the lat. Don't be squeezing through the bicep and all that, you really wanna squeeze through the lat. So that's the key with that. Next is the straight arm pull downs. Um, this is really good for your mind muscle connection I don't know if this is next, but we're gonna talk about it. I'll make sure it's next. Um, this is really good for your mind muscle connection. Not only that, it teaches you how to engage your lats and flare them out. I really like it to finish with. I don't like it in the beginning. Some people use it as a mind muscle connection, but I use pull-ups for that. So with this, I like to do a burnout, 
nice and tight. You can go either uh, with like a short handle with it. We're, we have a band, but you can do the short handle or you can do the wide handle. Both are great, do both. I like to finish up with those. And then also you need to work on your rear delts. So right now, basically every back day, we're doing at least 100 reps of rear delts and we're doing rear up flies with whatever variation that we want. It could be either standing or it could be on the bench. You gotta get those in. And one of my new favorites that I'm including more is doing the incline row on the bench where you support yourself and pull up. Only issue I have with that is it hurts the shit out of my chest. So I gotta figure out how to do that or I'm gonna get a sill row machine which will kind of simulate the same thing. But that's that's been the key for right now. Um, I've been watching a couple videos. A lot of power lifters recommend that. And I know I don't, I'm not a power lifter. I don't wanna be a power lifter. But the, one of the objective is is to get stronger. Okay, so um, just to wrap up this video, like I said, our back day fully focused around strength um, and power. We'll get to that power stuff later into another video. But the reason my training is not strictly bodybuilding, strictly not strictly powerlifting. It's more it's more of an athletic approach. Is because I feel better. I'm healthier. I don't get hurt playing the sports I like to play and being active. And I don't want to be this big old mass monster like that. I used to always want to be the swole body because I was a skinny kid. So you always think grass is greener on the other side, but it's not. So just do, you know, at the end of the day, I'm meant to be an athlete. I'm still one of the most athletic people, regardless of what room I'm in. And I have to embrace that role. So that's what we're doing. Finally came to this conclusion over the past year and been a lot better. I've been more excited for training, been happier with my training, and I've been more happy with my progress other than my hamstring injury, which is a great learning lesson for me. Um, and not only that, it makes me a better coach. So let's end the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, hope you guys like this more informational stuff. Please like, subscribe, share these videos. That'll really help me. We've been doing pretty good. So keep that up. Appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.